Yarborough's in the lead, and Lorenzen is second. Here's Curtis Turner on the inside of car number 47. A.J. on the outside of him as they flash by. And here's Treble up here in the number four turn. Car number 90 has spun. Car number 32, car 01, is hit by car number 53. So let's check them real quickly on what actually happened there. Frank Warren in 79 spun. Then Sonny Hutchins in 90 spun. Rock Harn is up against the wall. Harold Kite's car, number 01, was hit broadside by car number 53, it looks like, and that would be Jimmy Helms. So things really happen very quickly there. One driver is okay. This is Rock Harn getting out of his car, and they're trying to get the door open of Harold Kite's car. Frank Warren is out of his car. He's all right. Sonny Hutchins is out, but Kite is apparently still in. While that yellow caution flag is out there, Roger, let's just try to reconstruct that. It happened so fast. I saw Hutchins spin, and then uh, I saw Kite's car come down. That was the old one car, and he was hit broadside by, by Jimmy Helms, but it happened so quickly, I didn't really see it. Well, of course, these are the things that can happen sometimes in the early laps of a race. First of all, the drivers are a little tensed up. They're starting with a full load of fuel with brand new tires, and, of course, the tires stick a little better after they've got a couple laps on them. And, of course, uh, the fact that the drivers are attempting to get as many positions in those first two or three laps as they can uh, sometimes causes this kind of an accident. It's unfortunate, but it happens. Yeah. Well, let's go back now on the track and see uh, what has happened. This is Jimmy Helms' car, number 53. This was the car that struck Harold Kite. It looked like uh, Jimmy was trying to come to the inside to avoid the traffic above him. And this is Harold Kite's car, and boy, that is badly smashed. Now that went by so fast, let's look at that again in our videotape and take a look. There were the cars that spun. Harn goes up high, Warren goes down low along with Hutchins, and then Kite's car went to the inside and was hit by Jimmy Helms. So 53 hit 0-1. And the other two cars you see there are on the infield, Frank Warren and Sonny Hutchins, and Rock Harn is up here on the track. And so that is what caused the yellow flag to go out and here is the car that was struck. This is Harold Kite's car, hit broadside by Jimmy Helms. Both Helms and Kite have been taken to the hospital here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. We'll be back with more of the National 400 in Charlotte, North Carolina in just a moment. We were very sorry to have had to report of the fatality to the veteran driver Harold Kite of Augusta, Georgia in an accident that happened on the very first lap of this 267 lap race. We extend our deepest sympathies to the friends and family of Harold Kite. The official order of finish, once again, Fred Lorenzen, Dick Hutcherson, and Kurt Turner, one, two, and three, all in 65 Fords. Care to make a final comment, Rod? Well, I'm looking forward to many more races like that. Boy, I'll tell you, this is a great place to be in a race like that. Okay, well, that's just about the story of the National 400 here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway.